like the day before it happened, we saw all these other conferences like delaying their season or like, you know, like actually shutting down the entire, like the rest of the season. So we kind of knew it was coming, but at the same time, like we didn't really think it was going to happen, but when it did happen, it was a little shock, but definitely, definitely sad. I talked to my brother and he said that, you know, you have one more year to, you know, to be a kid and why don't you, you know, take advantage of that. And so I, I listened to him and, you know, I decided to come back and, you know, hang out with my friends and play baseball and you know, stuff I love to do. So it was a good decision so far, I think. I'm, I'm fortunate enough to have like a makeshift gym at my house. So my buddy comes over and we work out pretty much every day. And his dad is the coach at a high school here. So we go to the field and hit and he'll throw our, my buddy's dad will throw BP to us uh, whenever we ask. So, I mean, like I've been pretty much getting my work in like it was like a, like a normal summer, which is actually really fortunate. Got some interest from Eddie and um, Ambrose Romero, who was the uh, the GA here. He he also went to Lamar Community College uh, two years before me, so I knew him from that. And uh, I kind of asked him, I was like, "Hey, like, how's how's Pueblo?" And he he said he really liked it and that the coaches were, you know, good people. And you know, he got better here, so. Uh, I decided, you know, to come to, to come here because he really liked it, and I feel like I would have liked it too. So I didn't, I didn't even know. Like I was just scrolling through Instagram, and then I got um, an Instagram direct message from one of my friends, and it was like, it was like, "What's up with your picture?" And I'm like, "What do you mean? What's up with my like? Where did where's my picture?" And so like I uh, like went to like the story or the post and. There it was like all our Mac honorable or like the honor roll. So I was like, oh, that's cool. Like, that's how I kind of found out. Like, I didn't really like no one really told me until like after the fact, which was kind of funny. Well, like in high school, I wasn't like a very good student. So when I got to college, I was like, you know, like I'm gonna start taking my uh, my academics way more seriously because it became like real, you know. So what like my thing is like just apply like if you just apply yourself and go to class and pay attention and do what you're supposed to do. Like you, you can get really good grades, even if you're not like necessarily, you know, like a genius. If you apply yourself, you can get really good grades and, you know, do what you want to do. And they're like, hey, we need to, we need to get here at seven o'clock in the morning to go shovel. I was mad. I was so mad. Like I didn't want to do it. No, I mean, no one wanted, it was like nine degrees. I remember because I put a Snapchat and like did like the thing and it said nine degrees. I was like, oh my gosh, it's freezing. And we were there and it sucked. But at the same time, like we were with all of our friends and we were just messing around. So like looking back on it, it was such a good time. Like, and we would like drive our trucks on the field and like shovel the snow. Like it, it was fun, but at the time it wasn't. But now looking back, it was. it was. It was good. Like, so whenever, whoever was playing that day, so we'd switch off every game, whoever was playing, after every inning on defense, we would come back into the dugout and we would talk about like pitch calling and uh, like situational stuff. And it was nice because sometimes he would give me, you know, good advice on like what he saw, like what I need to do better. Or he would come in and be like, good job. So it was, it was always a very positive relationship, like a very positive dynamic. And I rarely felt, or not even, I never felt a, a negative like competition type, you know, uh, feeling from him so it was always positive it was, it was actually very nice to have to have someone in the dugout like critiquing me and in, in a good way so